Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to be going over the belt and all the upgrades we're doing to it, all the additions we've made, the rearranging we've done, and everything like that. We've got a bunch of accessories to go over, and we've got one more part of upgrading the Battenson 2022 suit before it's finally done, and we show off the before and afters and everything. This has been a great process and a great learning process for me with a couple things. I feel like it's really helped me advance my 3D modeling skills and everything like that. I hope you've all enjoyed this and I hope you continue to enjoy everything. And if you want to see more and if you haven't seen the other videos, uh, like say part two, I'll put the thing right here where we make the grapple or wherever it goes where we made the grapple. You can click on that and check that video out after this one, along with just uh, clicking the notification bell down below so that you don't miss the future ones. Got a lot of stuff coming up that I think you're all going to be really interested and I just appreciate all the support. Without any further ado, let's just get into this one. All right, so to jump in on everything, we have all the pieces here for the belt, just about, minus a couple things. And to start off, we have the sticky bomb canister and the sticky bombs. We can have it perfectly spaced for the sticky bombs to just be able to slide on in and not really fall out without you taking them out. It can hold about three. Uh, if I stretched out the canister a little more, it could probably hold four. It also has a lid on it. And the lid is just so you can take it off, uh, put a sticky bomb in through the top of it, and then just pop the lid back on here. So after that, we have the adrenaline shot. This one is based off of the concept art. As you can see, I put a magnet in here and th for the needle, and that's going to be placed onto the top of the body. And then I have a magnet in the canister as well that will have the liquid. So what it would be is you place the needle on top of the body, you know, just kind of lining it up in the middle as best you can. And then you take the canister and you can slide it in and it'll be magnetized and you can basically just reload it, you know? Just a more realistic effect is what I went for. Now I do have another version where the top is separate from the rest of the uh, canister part because I wanted you, if you could print it out with like a more clear filament to be able to fill it up with like green food coloring water and then glue the top back on and still use it. That way it would be even more realistic. So next we're gonna take all of this and we are just going to be painting and sanding everything like we've done in previous videos. Uh, so you don't really need to see all that again. At this point, you guys should know the drill. All right, so we've got everything primed and sanded. We went ahead and did an extra layer of Plasti Dip. Next, we're just gonna do some dry brushing with some brushed silver. And when you go to dry brush, you just really wanna wipe off the excess and just kind of dab away at the uh, edges of, you know, wherever you want it at, wherever you think it would be. I'm not the best at dry brushing. Uh, I'm still trying to get the hang of it, so it's not gonna look as clean as say when somebody like Cosplay Chris does it, but I think it's still gonna look great. One of the things that I did to help with the canister here is I took it and I like scraped it along the floor, rolled it around on the floor, just to kind of have it, have those edges shine a little more from around the body of it. Uh, that way I have like a little more of an area of this is what would be hit, uh, this is what would take damage realistically, and I can go over that with the silver a little bit. But there's a quick little example of what you can do just to kind of add the extra touches. And again, I'm not the best at it, but as you see, I'm going over one of the spots that got hit when it was rolling around and everything. If you're better dry brushing, this will probably look better. I'm not the best at dry brushing yet. I'm still learning and everything, which is a lot of what I do on this channel is just learn as I go and improve over time. I think this is coming out great. So let's move on to another piece, uh, like the needle and everything here. Now the needle doesn't need as much dry brushing on it as a good portion of it is just silver. So, you know, going over with dry brushing, it's not gonna need too, too much comparatively to the other things. A lot of it is just the needle itself and the metal rings around it here just to get it painted with the silver to make it more accurate to the concept art. So here's the final bit of the needle. This is what it looks like in the end. The only real thing left to do with it is to attach it to the body of the adrenaline shot uh, whenever we're ready to do that. So the next thing we're going to be painting is the sticky bombs. And the way that we're going to do those is just by taking the silver and painting the circular bit at the top of it. 
Uh, there is a black rim around the middle of it, so I'm gonna try my best to do that, but it's kind of hard to paint it perfectly from the camera angle that I'm having to do it at. I'm kind of behind the camera, reaching my arms around, so if it looks dirty now, I'll clean it up later. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get a perfect circle right now. All right, so now that we've got the sticky bombs done, we're gonna be moving on to the actual canister itself. And with this, we're gonna go over it with a bit of gunmetal gray, as from what I can tell, it's not perfectly black. Uh, so we're not gonna have it perfectly black. We're gonna go with the gunmetal gray, like I just said, and it does look brighter in the camera than it is uh, in real life. So however you're seeing it on your screen, but maybe take it down a shade or two. That's probably about what it's closer to. Going over it with the gunmetal gray, just to make it a little closer to the images that I've seen of it on the suit. Not perfectly black. A little bit of scratch marks here where you can, which is what we will be adding later, the same way we did it to the other items. And yeah, I think it's all coming together real nicely. There's only a couple things left to do with the belt before we uh, are done with it. All right, so we've got everything painted and done. We're gonna go ahead and put the canister on the belt because that's 100% finished at this point. Uh, and also, as you can see, I've gone back over this with a couple extra details like putting gold along the edges of the top and bottom of the canister as that is how it looks in the movie with all the uh, art and toys and images I could find. So I just went ahead and did that just to give it that extra bit of a realistic look and accuracy, which I think it came out great overall. Let me know your thoughts as well. Uh, but I like it. I think it did a really good job. So now I've also gone back and rearranged the pockets on the belt a little bit as when you get it, these pockets are over here. These are kind of slid over to where the canister is. And there's supposed to be another pocket right there in between the canister and these right here. I don't have that pocket specifically, but I do have something for it. I also went ahead and added my back cuffs to it. And I know that they're not the most accurate uh, considering that they don't look anything like them, but I like my back cuffs and that's what I'm gonna use them for. And then you have the gun holster for the sticky bomb launcher and everything. But yeah, that's basically the belt. I also need to put the torch there, uh, but I don't have it printed out yet. It's gonna take too long to do for this video. So that'll be part of the last video where I finalize all the little details before we're done with the suit. The next thing we're gonna do is put the, put the adrenaline shot together. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So in order to put the adrenaline shot together, we have our Loctite super glue. We're just gonna be taking it and going right around the edges of the needle as best we can without letting it kind of like flood into the middle or anything like that as we don't want that. And that's what I just did. So we'll just dab away the excess and take it and I'm gonna try our best to line it up with the middle of the body as best we can. It may not be perfect, but as long as it's close, it won't be too bad, you know? And the good thing about this is you get a couple seconds to fiddle with it and adjust it like I'm sliding it around a little bit trying to get it more centered. But yeah, you get a couple seconds to do that before it's really set in place. And that looks good. I'm happy with that centering. I think it looks good. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, and as you can see, once it dries and is completely adherent, we'll be able to slide the adrenaline part of it in and out. And now I'm just gonna show you how to attach the magnet itself as some people I know don't know how to do that. What you're gonna do is take one of the sanding sticks with the rougher grit and just rub it into one side of the magnet, whatever side you need it to be on to be glued down, just to kind of scratch it up and make it easier for the glue to adhere to the magnet, whereas it won't really adhere too well if it's all super smooth. The glue we're gonna be using for this is the E6000. So that way, uh, this, this works really well. It really congeals to the magnet and everything. I don't know if that's the proper word. So I apologize, uh, by the way, I ran out of magnets that's the proper size for this uh, hole, but it's the same basic concept. You take the side that's scratched in, you place it in so that it can adhere to the glue, and you push it in, line it up, and everything like that. Any excess glue that comes out as you do this, uh, like there's some right there, you just take a piece of paper, cloth, whatever you're gonna, you can throw away, and just dab away the excess so that it's not pouring out the sides. And that's pretty much it. That'll hold it after uh, about an hour or two once the glue firmly sets in. All right, so this is pretty much the overall look of the belt at the moment. 
Uh, everything looks good on my end. I have uh, the UV light in this pouch, which I forgot to mention earlier. So I'll show it off here real fast. Yeah, the UV light right here, just to slip it back in there. Uh, in this pouch, I have some batterings. Uh, these are just temporary batterings to have in there for now. I'm gonna eventually make the batterings based off the concept design for or the concept art for Pattinson's batterings, and those will go in there once I make them and everything like that. Uh, in this pouch, I have for a little bit of fun a piece of a uh, kryptonite because what bat suit utility belt wouldn't be complete without a piece of kryptonite? Obviously, you gotta have that at the ready. This pouch is just empty. There's nothing in this pouch. I don't have anything in there yet. I don't know what I'm gonna put in there, but yeah. And the bit that's there, I don't have this pouch like I said earlier, but I what I was gonna put there is the holder for the adrenaline shot, but it messed up printing and I don't have time to reprint it as it's like a six hour print uh, before time for this video to come out. So it will be done in the uh, next video. But yeah, I was supposed to sit there and just hold the adrenaline shot in place and everything like that. And I know this isn't the most accurate of the items that are in the belt, but I like having them like this. I don't have all the extra stuff, so yeah. I know that in this pouch is supposed to be like the headphones that was used to communicate between him and Selena and the contacts and all that. And the other pouch was supposed to be the thumb drive. One of the pouches that the that are on the other side is supposed to have the adrenaline shot, but I already made this a piece for the adrenal shop before I realized that and so I'm gonna use it especially since I don't have the missing pouch anyways and this will be a good placeholder but yeah that's the belt overall I think it looks amazing let me know what you guys think I think it's a big upgrade so far I think the whole suit's been a big upgrade uh, for a fairly cheap if you like this video and you want to support me and you've liked this series subscribe down below it's a great big help uh, I'd appreciate it very much and I will see you guys at the next one Thank you all so much. Later.